Welcome to episode 32 of What's That Bird? First, I'd like to make an announcement. I just noticed that my channel recently achieved 500 subscribers, so I'd like to thank all my subscribers for supporting my channel. Without your continued support, this channel would not exist. I also invite you to check out the community page of my channel because this feature was recently enabled on my channel and I plan on making many posts there to keep you updated of my activities. But now, let's get on to this episode of What's That Bird? If you'd like your bird featured on this channel, feel free to send it to me. For this episode 32, we have a bird from Germany. Or rather, several birds. Since these birds don't seem too difficult to identify, I've decided to identify them all, or at least try. Let's start with the birds on the left. It's pretty clear that these are ducks, and in fact, the male is quite recognizable as a mandarin duck. Its native range is mostly in Asia, so what's it doing in Germany? It turns out that most mandarin ducks in Europe are from introduced populations, although apparently a book on mandarin ducks states that the mandarin duck was once native to Great Britain. While making this episode of What's That Bird, I found out something very interesting about the mandarin duck and ducks in general. It's often the case that in duck populations, the sex ratio between males and females favors males. In other words, there are often more males than females. This is different than the human population, which is almost exactly 50% male and 50% female. One possible explanation, or at least one possible factor, was found in the 1980s, where researchers found that female ducks often fly further south in their migration compared to males. However, the difference in migration patterns between males and females may not always explain the sex ratio. In a study of mandarin ducks in Germany, for example, evidence was found that differential mortality or survival rates may be enough to explain the differences in the sex ratio. But now, back to the picture. Before moving on to the next species, I should say that the duck besides the male here, which is the female, is probably also a mandarin duck. However, the female of the mandarin duck looks a lot like the female of the wood duck, so I'm less confident in identifying the female. In any case, I'm willing to say that the male is a mandarin duck and give it a probability rating of 99%. The next bird is the one with the green head. Which bird could this be? Well, I have to say this bird is again a duck, and there's only one duck in Europe that looks like this duck. That's the mallard. Although I've never done any birding in Europe, the mallard is very common in North America, which is why it was so easy to identify. Because this mallard is a male in breeding plumage, I'm going to give this assessment a probability rating of 98%. Finally, what's this strange looking bird on the right? Now, you might think at first that this bird is a duck because it's hanging out with ducks, but I think it's not a duck. In fact, it looks a lot more like the Eurasian coot. I'm not as confident with this bird because I can't see its face, but the body looks a lot like the body of the Eurasian coot. So I'm going to give this bird identification a probability assessment of 80%. I hope you enjoyed this episode of What's That Bird? And I hope to see you again next time.